Hello, third graders. Um, we are going to start with volume one of our California Math Expressions book. So let's go ahead and open that up. It's written by Dr. Karen C. Fusion, very cool. And then here you can see the table of contents. You could take a look at that later. Um, here's a letter to your parents about homework and practicing, whether or not the class, whoever's class you're in is following the homework book, it is important that you are regularly practicing your math facts. You want to have them memorized because later on, not having to count out each thing all the time will be very, very helpful. So whether you're using the book or if you're doing something else, please make sure that in some part of each day, you're going through some part of your multiplication math facts, okay? Um, also, we're gonna talk about different concepts around um, multiplication. So in some problems there are things that have repeated groups. So here you can see a picture of three bananas four times. So that's three plus three plus three, which is twelve. We also have arrays, which are rows and columns. So here we have two rows, five columns. Which this is called a two by five array. Um, so we have ten pennies there and that would look like two times five, or it could be five times two, either way is fine. And we're also talking about area. Um, later, you'll learn something called the area model, and this is super helpful for multiplying things um, that are larger than 10. Um, but to introduce that, we use our knowledge of rectangles, and we have our length and width labeled, and then we can find square units inside and know the area inside the shape. That's the area. So if you have any questions about that, email your teacher. Um, here we have the same information in Spanish, and now we're gonna start with our lesson one. So we could, actually we, we will use our math board at least for this part, but we'll, we'll leave that question or that portion right there. So I have my marker and I have my math board, and around the perimeter of your math board, uh, there are numbers, and the first multiplication group that we're going to learn is multiplying things by five. So here, you see these boxes down here, the, I'll move my head this way, stuff like that. We have, one, two, three, four, five over there, right? So this is one group of five, one group of five is five, right? Now we have our second group of five. How many groups do we have? Two, how many are in each group? Five, and so we have a total of 10. 10 is two groups of five, or five plus five. Let's scooch all this over a little bit. There we go, it's better. Okay, then here uh, we have our third group of five, bringing us to a total of 15. Three groups, each has five. That is three times five, five plus five plus five, which does equal 15. Then we got our fourth group, bringing us to a total of 20. Um, four groups of five. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, there's four fives added together. And if it's added, it's the total of 20, but if you're multiplying, it's called a product. So these are called factors, and that's called a product. We'll, we'll come back to that at another time. All right, we got our fifth group, five groups of five, five, 20, 25. We have 25 um, individual squares, right? So we got 5 times 5, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, plus five. 25. All right, we're going to keep on rolling. We're going to go at our sixth group of 5. 6 groups of 5 is 5 plus 2, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 30. Okay? Five more, one more group of five from 30 is 35. That's all those fives in a row. You can count them, there are seven, just like there are here. Now we're going to get our eighth group. Eight times five 
is 40. It's five more than 35, right? Nine times five, 45. Five more than 40, one more group of five than 40, one more group of five than eight times five, that's nine times five. And the last one we'll circle is the 50, right? Which is 10 times five. You could continue this forever. We don't really need to, but I want you to take a moment to look at this column of products that we have here. What do we have in the ones place every time we're multiplying something by five? What do you notice? We have five and we have zero. Five, zero. Five, zero. Five, zero. Zero. So you can assume that if you have something in the ones place that is either a five or a zero, one of the factors for that might be five. It probably is, right? I mean, I think it is. <laughs> it is. So, uh, it's so important that when you're doing multiplication, you're not just trying to memorize the facts, but you're also understanding the concept that we are talking about having a group, but in this case it's a five, and having multiple groups, many groups that are exactly the same size. Okay, and that's how we can apply this knowledge. It's not just like memorizing the lyrics to a song, it's understanding this whole idea of having equal size groups, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and flip over and take a look at this side of page, page six. Turn that a little bit there. All right. So we have some vocabulary words to talk about. Um, an equation. Now, an equation is something that has an equal sign and like an answer on one end and a math expression on the other side sometimes there'll be a math expression on both sides um, but something with an equal sign that you either need to solve or is already multiplication is when you have multiple groups it's like repeated addition um, a factor is the things that you multiply together and the product is the answer in a multiplication question. So let me read this out, out to you. An equation shows that two quantities or expressions are equal. An equal sign, which looks like that, is used to show that the two sides are equal. In a multiplication equation, the numbers you multiply are called factors. The answer or total is called a product. So here we have an example. 3 times 5 equals 15. The factors are 3 and 5, and the product is 15. And it is really important that you become comfortable using this academic language. It is used a lot, like the um, finding the least common factor is something that you'll do later on. Um, so you want to make sure that you know what people are talking about if they say a factor, or if they say a product, or if they say an equation. So pay attention to this. It's not something to skip over. In multiplication, you will see a variety of these symbols. There's the thing that looks like an X, there's the thing that looks like a little star, and the thing that looks like a circle. Sometimes you'll also see parentheses, like that, um, separating the two factors. And if they're touching like that, there's no operation in between, you're multiplying for that, okay? We're going to write the total. We have 4 times 5. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals what? Well, we can look at our picture here. 1 group of 5 is 5. 2 groups is 10. 3 is 15. And 4 is 20, right? So 4 times 5 is 20. You could also count 5, 10. 20, which is kind of what we did here, but you're probably familiar with counting by fives from earlier on. Seven groups of five. Let's count in our circles. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven groups of five. Oh, you can't see. Seven groups of five is 35, right? That's that, that last number at the end. Five. So 
it is 35. And when we're multiplying, it's important that you understand the concept of what we're really doing is rapid, repeated adding. So we're going to practice that, and it's in the Think Central, too, if, you're, if we're doing the Think Central. Okay. So write the five additions, the fives additions that show each multiplication, then write the total. So just in the same way that up here, when we had four times five, we wrote five four times. We're going to write five how many times on this one? Six, right? So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, okay, good. Now I can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. How many is five groups of, or sorry, six groups of five? 30. Same thing, nine, it has that little star. What does that mean? Multiplying five times, or nine times five, so we're writing the fives addition, so we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's that last number there? 45. You also count five, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Okay, so then we'll write that out. We'll put 45 here. All right, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. Okay. Now we're going to write the product. With, what's the product again? the answer right to the multiplication problem so we're going to write that down here we're going to i'll count by fives for this one i think that's a good one so eight times five five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty eight fingers eight groups of five is forty two times five five ten Five times five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Oops. Yeah, just twenty-five. It's five groups. So twenty-five. This will be one group of five less, right? Or fewer than. So if we have twenty-five and we're taking away one of our fives, we only have four fives. Twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Right? Okay. Uh, number nine, 10 groups of five. Now this one you might have heard before and sometimes people will just say, just put a zero on the end of it. And that's partially true. Um, what you're really doing is you're shifting the place value, right? Instead of having five ones, now we have five tens. So while in terms of writing things down, it is a little easier to just like, oh, put a zero on the end. It's important that you understand Having five tens is like having 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and that's why it's 50. And that's why there, that zero shows up on the end. Okay. All right, seven times five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Seven fingers, each representing five, 35. You might notice here we had five times five, which is 25 which was 10 less, or two groups of five less than 35. And five is two less than seven. Hmm? You won't always be like spinning those wheels, thinking about those relationships. Okay, now we're writing a five, fives and multiplication equation for each picture. So in each of these circles, there are one, two, three, four, five stars. And here we have one, two, three, four circles. We can write four groups of five. And we could go ahead and count all these. We could do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, or you could count by fives. Okay. Mean twenty. Either way it equals twenty. 
Now, here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five. So it's some amount of groups of five. Now let's count and see how many groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven groups of five. And I don't know about you, but that's a lot of little stars or rhombuses to count. So we can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Seven groups of five is 35. Okay, so we will continue with this idea throughout the unit and for a long time, but I want you to start practicing at the very least uh, counting by fives or at the very least beyond that, um, practicing memorizing these different results. So if somebody says one times five, you say five. If someone says two times five, you say 10. Three times five, 15. Four times five, 20. Five times five, 25. Six times five, 30. Seven times five, 35. Eight times five, 40. Nine times five, 45. 10 times five. You wanna be quick about that, okay? So go ahead and get started. Check and see if you have an assignment and I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me, bye-bye.